Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be kind of two different things. I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winner from the giveaway that I hosted a week ago. Um, obviously that's closed now. I'm going to announce the winner of that in just a second. And it's also a product empties video. So I'm going to be going through some of my product empties because I've got a lot of them. So stay tuned for that. Um, the giveaway was a giveaway of a sleek lipstick and a nail varnish. Um, I don't actually have it with me right this minute. It's in my room. Can I be bothered to go and get it? No. Um, but anyway, I'm going to announce the giveaway winner for that. I did a random name picker. I don't know why I've never done this before because I always used to write all the names out, put it in a hat, take the name out, but you can do them online. Didn't even know that. Um, so I did that. It worked and the winner is, can't actually remember this person's last name, but I can remember their first name and their first name is Esther. So the whole name is going to be on the screen now. So the winner is Esther, well done for winning. Um, I hope you enjoy it um, and I will contact you somehow or another just leave me a comment down below like with your instagram or whatever or twitter or anything and i will contact you somehow and then you can give me your address and i'll send it to you um if the winner of the giveaway if esther does not watch this video does not know she's won then i will have to pick a separate winner and i will do that in a separate video um or i will just contact them separately but yes you are the winner so well done for winning that is the giveaway winner segment of this video over. I am going to be doing some more giveaways. Woohoo! Um, on my channel, of course I am. I've got lots planned. So far I've done two this year. Um, so, you know, I could do one every month. So I'm just going to dive into this and just kind of talk about products kind of here and there. Um, I'm not going to really, you know, talk about them for too long. But the first one is this Batiste dry shampoo. I get through dry shampoo so, so quickly. There's always a dry shampoo in my product empties. But this one is the Instant Hair Refresh dry shampoo in the flavor Exotic um, Coconut and Exotic Tropical. Um, this one smelled okay. It wasn't really anything special. Um, it was just an all right dry shampoo. I always buy Batiste dry shampoos because they're always my favorite ones. Um, they, I don't know, they just work really well. So yeah, that's run out. Um, also a Sanex deodorant. Nothing I can really say about this. It's just a deodorant. Um, I then have this, which is the French, um, French Connection body spray. My friend Emily bought this for me for Christmas, like, um, over a year ago, like not the Christmas that's gone, the Christmas before that. And I've absolutely loved this scent. It was honestly one of my favorite scents I've ever smelled in my life. I don't know why. I just love it. There is a tad bit left. Oh, there is as well. Hmm. Nice. It's just kind of coming out very slowly, but I'm really sad this has run out because I've used this so, so much and I've really loved this scent of this body spray. So yeah, that's gone, unfortunately. Um, my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, this one's for sensitive skin. And I will not be repurchasing this product simply because I found something else from Garnier that is kind of a gel wash that works really, really well for removing makeup and cleansing both um so i'll never need to buy this again obviously you know one day i might do so don't hold me to that um but i have found a separate product that works a lot better i then have this which is the garnier garnier ultimate blends delicate soother heat protection milk um it has a little bit left in it but i've recently repurchased a new one um i got a different brand and a different kind of style the new one i've got is more of a gel consistency whereas this one is just a spray this smells so so nice um it's got rice cream and oat milk in it oh god I wasn't expecting that. It's literally just sprayed all over my studio lights. It's okay. They're fine. We're good. Um, but it smells really amazing. It's one of my favourite scents in the world, actually. I then have this Lush Big Sea Salt um, Shampoo. And I first got this and really liked it. It's kind of for like really getting that kind of beachy wave look of hair. And when you put it into your hair, it makes your hair feel really dry and kind of like you've been in the sea basically because obviously it's got salt in it which means it will remove all the moisture from your hair and that's something that looks okay and looks quite nice but it feels horrible there is a little bit left 
in here um and i thought i'll throw this away like the little bit at the bottom because it's really really old so it's probably out of date and also i'm not really down for that vibe anymore you know i don't really want the kind of really dry feeling textured hair i would rather my hair be kind of really soft than dry and brittle um so throwing that out um i've then got this Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go. This is a setting spray and also a primer, whichever way you want to use it. This was pretty decent when I first got it. It was like, you know, covered my face really well, but soon the lid of it, um, where you spray the stuff out of, started to break. Like it didn't break, but basically I think product just got clung in the top, which meant that when you sprayed it out, it kind of went out in different sections and you got splotches all over your face when you want it to be a really fine mist that kind of just psh, straight over your face. Um, but you know, it, I could make it work. I kind of blended it out with a beauty blender, that kind of thing, but um, yeah. I've now recently bought a different one from a different brand and I much prefer that. Next up I have this toner here which is from Tea Tree. It is the Daily Cleanser and Toner. This was a good, you know, a good toner when I had it. It smells, well, it smelled really fresh, really clean. You felt like you was um, getting rid of impurities and I just really enjoyed this product. However, it got to the point where I'd had it for about two years. It was getting old. Its shelf life says 12 months on the back which means, you know, it was out of date having it for two years and obviously because it's a toner and I'm putting it on my face I don't want to put something out of date on my face because obviously it's not going to be working the best that it can be um, and it's going to have those impurities in it so I didn't want to put this on my face um, so I thought I'll throw that out and there was only a little bit at the bottom. Um, I absolutely love these body sprays. Um, this is from... Actually where is this from? I think the brand is called So and I bought it from super drug and this one is wild berries i do have another one i do have another one and it's still going it hasn't run out but this is literally this cost me one pound fifty and i absolutely love the scent it was so easy to travel with took it with me every day smelled really nice mm, i can still smell it and just very very good value for money so i'd go and pick these up if i were you i think wilco sells them as well but i'm not sure um, I've then got this Zoella body wash, um, Snow Fresh. I got this for Christmas as part of a set. Ran out of this already because I used it up. This year, I really want to use up all of my body care products that I've been given just because obviously, you know, I want to get through them. That sense of finishing a product is actually like an accomplishment and I love finishing a product. Um, so I'm so glad I managed to finish this already. It sounds ridiculous, but you know, sometimes products just sit there, you don't tend to use them. So that's my life goal for this year. So that finished and it was a decent one. Um, I then also have another dry shampoo. I did say I love Batiste dry shampoos and this one is in the shade, in the shade? Oh my God. This one is called Rose Gold. So, you know, as you can see, they're two different types. I think this one's mainly meant for people with blonde hair because it does have a hint of rose gold in it. Um, but, you know, it still worked for me. It was still fine. Um, I still really liked it. So, a decent dry shampoo. I then have this powder here, which is from the collection. And this is a loose powder. And actually, does it say... It says sheer loose powder, but actually I haven't run out of this. There is still some product left in here, but the only thing is, is that it is quite orangey. So when I put it on my face, it does tend to oxidize ever so slightly and just kind of make my skin look a little bit more orange. And obviously that's not what I'm going for. I've recently purchased a different powder that's actually white, um, which is so much better because it means that you can't really see the whiteness on your face, but it means that nothing is oxidizing, nothing is going orange. Um, so I might give this to my mom and see if she wants to try it out, that kind of thing, but I won't be using this ever again. But it was all right, it was all right. Um, I then have this moisturizer here, which I ran out of. This is the Tesco da Daily Moisturizer with Cucumber Extract. It's just a really cheap one from Tesco. I think I repurchased another one and it's in my room. It's a really basic moisturizer. It smells of cucumber. It smells really, really nice. In fact, it reminds me of something. What does it remind me of? 
I think it reminds me of a holiday I went on like pretty recently. Um, must have had that with me. But yeah, it, it's actually really nice. It's kind of more of a thinner consistency um, rather than thicker, which is good for younger looking skin. I then have this body spray here in the scent Teas. This is from Impulse. Love a good Impulse body spray. However, I have been a convert to the good old body mist, so I won't be repurchasing a body spray probably anytime soon. Then a few little makeup-y bits here in the bottom of this box. I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. This um, in the shade 100 Ivory. I obviously ran out of this a long time ago. All of these products have been sat here for a long time. This was a really decent foundation, very full coverage, but since using different foundations, I've noticed that actually this is quite thick and I quite like to have more thinner consistency foundations just so it blends a lot easier. I don't necessarily want full, full coverage. Um, so I like to kind of go in with a thin layer of foundation and then any areas that need covering, I'll use concealer. Um, but it is a really good foundation. If you haven't tried it, then where the hell have you been? Because it is a good one. I've then got my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Mascara. This has been in, I think, a couple of favourites videos. Um, it was a really good kind of thick mascara. It gave a lot of volume, made your lashes look voluminous and black. And I just really liked this mascara. It was all round a pretty decent one. I think I have found a mascara now that I actually prefer to this one, but this was very good whilst it was alive. And finally, last but not least, I have got the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This one is in the shade number one, Fair. I have wanted to repurchase this for so, so long. I've been going to Tesco. I've been trying to, <clears throat> sorry, talking too much, um, trying to find it, but they haven't had my shade in stock, which I've been very disappointed about. Um, but what can you do? I had to buy a different concealer, um, but it is a very good one, very full coverage, and I do like this one to be fair. So that is everything for my product empties. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that is empty, and I have done um, more of these before, so obviously if you wanna see them, check back on my channel, but there will be more of these to come throughout the year because I do tend to get through products quite quickly. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also give it a thumbs up if you want some more giveaways. So well done to the giveaway winner. I will see you very soon. Subscribe to my channel and see you later. Goodbye.